The following video is a recap of Litwit Community Day. And welcome to Lewis's Adventures Plays Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Magnucci, as your host. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts if when I upload new content to the channel. Especially those with disabilities similar to mine. In this video, I cover Litwit Community Day. And I hope to catch as many shiny Litwit as I can. Well, this community day got off to a slow and frustrating start, as you will see in some of these clips where I didn't encounter no shinies. It took me about 30 minutes until I got my first one, which you will see towards the end of this clip. In the meantime, I'm going to tell you what you had to do during this community day, talking about the tricks of light special research and timed research and of course I couldn't complete all the tasks on camera because of the fact it was so slow I completed the rest of them off camera as for the steps for the special research story step one you had to power up a Pokemon ten times and your reward was 15 Pokeballs Catch 15 Litwit with your reward of a Litwit encounter and make 5 nice throws with your reward of 20 Litwit candy. The total rewards for this step were 2,000 Stardust, a Litwit encounter, and 1 incense. For step 2, you had to catch 15 Litwit with your reward of 30 Litwit candies, transfer 10 Pokemon with your reward of a Lampint encounter, and evolve 3 Litwit with your reward of 10 Pineapp Berries. And the total rewards for this step were 1,500 XP, a Litwit Encounter, and one Lore Module. For step 3, you had to make 3 Great Curveball Throws with your reward of 50 Litwit Candies, evolve 1 Lampent with your reward of 1 Lucky Egg, and transfer 10 Pokemon with your reward of 15 Great Balls. The total rewards for this step were 2,500 XP, 1 Rocket Radar, and 15 Ultra Balls. For Step 4, you automatically claim the following rewards. They were 2 Silver Pineapp Berries, a Litwit Encounter, and 3,500 XP. And the total rewards for this last and final step of the story were 3,000 Stardust, a Chandelure Encounter, and 3 Rare Candies. And there were also exclusive field research tasks that involved catching three Litwit. And your rewards were a Litwit encounter, five Great Balls, one Golden Raspberry, two Ultra Balls, two Pineapp Berries, or 500 Stardust. As for the exclusive timed research, 
when completing it, you'd be rewarded with four Unova stones for using five berries to help you catch a Pokemon, catch five Litwit, and making five nice throws. I leave you to my favorite Kevin McCloud track that I always use for my Pokemon Go episodes, Newer Wave and see how I do at the end of this video. While filming the segment where I try to complete the tasks, I was not able to get a shiny then. But after I stopped recording, then I finally got my first shiny. Stay tuned to see if I finally complete this mission. Well, my final shiny count for this Lit Lit Community Day was nine. Yes, I caught nine shinies. At first, it was Frustrating and annoying, but in the end, I did manage to meet my goal of getting three shinies from my account, as well as three to have in my Switch games, along with three additional ones. In the meantime, the next episode of this series will be about Dratini Community Day Classic. In the meantime, this is Lua saying, Thanks for watching, everyone! You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and TikTok. Remember, it's time for adventure!